Hello dear student, I am Dr. Vasan Boraste from Department of Commerce, KTHM College, Nasik. In the last video, we have discussed about the overview of syllabus, objective of the course that is corporate accounting. I also explain about the methods of evaluation and evaluation criteria, list of some useful reference books and some useful websites. The link of the first video is given in the description. I would like to suggest please go through the first video link, watch it carefully and then watch the second video. In this video, I will try to introduce the first topic of corporate accounting that is accounting standards. So in this video, I will explain first of all review of the corporate accounting syllabus which I already explain in the last video that is we have a four chapter first one is accounting standard second one is profit prior to incorporation third one is company final accounts and fourth one is valuation of shares so out of these four chapters we will study about first topic that is accounting standards so in this video i will cover the meaning of in meaning and introduction of accounting standards then I will try to focus on accounting standard boards. After that, we will study updated list of accounting standards, which is given by ICAI, that is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Then, as per the syllabus of second year BCom, I will explain the accounting standards which are applicable for you, that is AS5, AS10, AS14, and AS21, which is for semester 3. So let us start the first chapter that is accounting standard here an introduction is given accounting standard is called as a language of business and the accounting standard is a literature of language so as i earlier mentioned accounting standards are some set of rules and regulations which are given for the policies given uh, as a policies or guidelines about the principles Accounting standard is considered as written statement issued from time to time by the institutions of accounting profession that is ICAI. The accounting bodies are in India the bodies is known as accounting standard board. In USA the bodies of accounting standards is known as financial accounting standard boards. In UK it is accounting standard board and accounting standards committee IASC. So here is some definitions of accounting standard the definition given by Bromwich in the corporate accounting book which is given by published by Nirali Prakashan <coughs> of Dr. Suhas Mahajan Bromwich defined the accounting standards as accounting standards are uniform rules for financial reporting applicable either to all to a certain class of entity promulgated by what is perceived of predominantly as element of the accounting community specially created for this purpose standard setters can be seeking to prescribe a preferred accounting treatment from the available set of methods for treating one or more accounting problems other policy statement by the profession will be referred to as accommodation so this, this definition is given by dr suhas mahajan uh, in his book of corporate accounting of nirali prakashan which is given by Brunwich. The meaning of accounting standard is what? Accounting standards are written documents, policy documents issued by the expert accounting body or by the government or other regulatory body covering the aspect of recognition, measurement, treatment, presentation and disclosure of accounting transaction in the financial statement. In India, accounting standards are issued by ICAI that is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Basically, the accounting standards are a written document which are given by ICAI in case of India, which are set of rules and regulation through which the bodies or corporate corporates or companies or government organization have to follow the rules and regulations which are set by ICAI from time to time. A standard means generally accepted model or ideal. Accounting standard means generally accepted accounting policies which are given by ICI. 
Accounting standards are written document as I earlier mentioned that PPH are written document containing the generally accepted accounting principle which is popularly known as GAAP or GAAP issued by ICAI in India. Basically there are 32 accounting standards but as on date the updated list shows that 29 in the ICAI website are given by ICAI. There are 32 accounting standards but the updated list given by ICI shows that 29 in which accounting standard 6 is merged with accounting standard 10 and accounting standard 8 merged in accounting standard 26. So this list is uh, published on the ICAI website <coughs> which is up updated up to 1st April 2019. Now there are 29 accounting standards. So here are some benefits of the accounting standards. It reduces the variation in accounting treatment. If rules and regulations are standards and which are applicable to each and every organization which is given by ICI, at that time the variation of accounting treatment is denied or we can say it, it will not happen. If everywhere you will, you will see the same accounting treatment. It will reduce the additional disclosure and it helps in comparison of two companies or two corporations or two organizations or enterprises. Basically in India the accounting standard boards helps to ICAI in formulating the accounting standards. The institute of ICAI that is institute of accounting uh, chartered accountants of India being the premier accounting body in country had set up of accounting standard boards on 21st April 1977 with key objectives of formulating accounting standards to harmonize varied accounting policies. As I earlier mentioned that accounting standard is a board which is formulated or constructed by ICI on, in April 1977 with the basic objective of to harmonize the varied accounting policies. That means there should not be any kind of variances, there should not be any kind of differences and the policies should be unique for each and every organization. ICI being the associate member of the Transact, uh, International Accounting Standards Committee and full-fledged member of the International Federation of Accounting Accountants decided to consider the international accounting standards while formulating accounting standards and try to integrate them to extend possible in the light of local laws and regulations. Here, apart from playing uh, sheets, anchor role in the standard, uh, standard setting in the country, the ASB plays an active role in international standards setting by participating in various international accounting forums. So here, the information of accounting standard board is uh, taken from the ICI website, that is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Here is the updated list of accounting standard. As I earlier mentioned, there are 29 accounting standards and the list of these accounting standards is published on 1st April, uh, uh, 1st April 2009. Sorry, the list is published on 1st April 2019. The updated list. Disclosure of accounting policy, which is accounting standard number 1. Then accounting standard 2, valuation of shares, 3, cash flow statement, 4, contingencies and events occurring after the balance sheet date. Then accounting standard 5, net profit or loss for the period, prior period items and changes in accounting policies. Then construction charge contracts, revenue recognition, property, plant and equipment. The AS11, the effect of changes in foreign exchange rate and AS12 accounting for government grants. Here some set of rules are given in accounting standard format where AS1 is disclosure of accounting policies. As per this accounting standard, each and every organization have to disclose some accounting policies. The second one is valuation of inventories. Inventory is nothing but stock. It should be valued on a specific uh, set of rules by using specific set of rules. Cash flow statement, as you know, the uh, flow statement of uh, cash is given in organization. Then some, there are certain types of contingencies, events and occurring after balance sheet date. Sometimes after balance sheet date, that is uh, if the balance sheet date is 31st March 2019. After that, whatever instance uh, events are occurred, 
in that case what to do the rules and regulation or set of rules in given accounting standard for then as5 which is in your syllabus net profit or loss for the period prior uh, prior period items and changes in accounting policies uh, we will see later on then as7 a construction contracts then revenue recognition property plant and equipment as earlier mentioned accounting standard 6 is merged with accounting standard 10 in earlier days accounting standard 6 was related with the depreciation accounting uh, now it merged with accounting standard 10 that is property plant and equipment uh, then accounting standard 11 the effect of changes in foreign exchange rate uh, as you know the foreign exchange rate are changed every day and then as12 that is accounting for government grants here is accounting standard number 13 accounting for investments then accounting for amalgamation which is in your syllabus accounting for amalgamation in case of two companies are going to amalgamate at that time what should we do what should do and what kind of accounting treatments are there this uh, rules and regulation and policies are given in accounting standard number 14 after that as 15 that is employee benefit which is related to the employees then borrowing cost how much cost you can borrow then segment reporting related party disclosures leases the details are given in as 19 then as 20 earning per shares after that 21 consolidated financial statement which is in also your syllabus in which we are you have to see how to consolidate the financial statement after the, that as 22 that is accounting for taxes on income how you have to uh, tax on your income this is given in accounting standard 22 so this is the list then now you have you can see here the accounting standard number 23 which is related with accounting for investment uh, investments in associates in consolidated financial statement then accounting standard number 4, 24 discounting operations 25 interim financial reporting 26 intangible assets and 27 financial reporting of interest in joint venture some in some cases if there is a joint venture at that time what should uh, what should be done in financial reporting of interest of joint venture s26 as you know there are some intangible assets in that case what to do you have you can then accounting standard 28 that is impairment of assets and 29 provision contingent liabilities and contingent assets so so this is the list of 29 accounting standards which is updated list this is also taken from the uh, website of uh, icai which is published uh, on the website and after that i have to focus on the accounting standards which is in your syllabus as per your syllabus there are few few accounting standards and its applicability with the practical example we will see later on uh, in your syllabus as5 is compulsory as10 as14 and as21 that means uh, for sy become semester 3 there are four accounting standards that is 5 10 14 and 21 uh, in this accounting standards, we have to um, study the, some practical example uh, for amalgamations and for property, plant and equipment that is uh, depreciation and such kind of example we will see later on. So here the first uh, accounting standard that is AS5 is net profit or loss for the period, prior period items and changes in accounting policy. In the next video, we will see the first accounting standard that is AS5. Then after that, we will see the next uh, in the third video, fourth video that is accounting standard 10, property, plant and equipment. Then accounting for amalgamation and consolidated financial statement. So this is the overall syllabus or overall outline of your chapter number first that is accounting standards in which we will see these four accounting standards which are compulsory for your syllabus so with this i would like to say thank you thank you very much in the next video we will see the first accounting standard that is net profit or loss for the period prior period items and changes in accounting policy thank you thank you very much